it's really weird seeing yourself drink. You don't see yourself drink, you just drink. Hi friends, Mike here, welcome back to my channel. This is a... What is this? What month is it? March. This is my March... Can't speak. So, welcome back to my channel guys. Hi, welcome. Um, this video is my March book haul. Oh my god, I can't speak. I don't know why starting these things is so tricky. Once I start going, once I get going, I'm absolutely fine. Well, hello friends. Welcome to my channel. It's Mike and this is my March... I keep on wanting to say wrap-up. It's not my wrap-up. This is my March book haul. This is my March book haul. I have bought Quite a few books this month. L lots of nice book shopping, some on Kindle, some in real life. So let's just start talking about what they are. The first one is called Ink and it's by Alice Broadway. And I don't know if you can see this, but this cover is delightful. I did buy this partly because the cover was so glorious and there's a lovely owl in there. I've got to think about owls. And on the back of this book, it only says the truth will get under your skin. And I was like, what is this? What is this wonder? And it says on the inside, there are no secrets in Saintstone. Imagine a world where your every action, your every deed is marked on your skin for all to see. And Leora has something to hide. Ink is a story about love, loyalty, and a desire to live forever. Ooh, it's a tale that gets under your skin. Oh, I'm intrigued by this. Beautiful copper foil work and a lovely drawing here. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, I hope it's going to be a bit, like, a bit YA and yeah, I'm looking forward to that little beauty. Quite an array of books this time around, guys. I'm jumping from different um, genres, as you'll soon see. The next one is this lovely paperback, um, Thin Air, A Ghost Story by Michelle Paver. Paver? I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. This is quite a short little little number and it says uh, the Himalayas 1935. Oh, I can't say this word. It's a sacred mountain. Kangchenjunga. Should have researched that before I started recording, shouldn't I? The sacred mountain, biggest killer of them all. Five Englishmen set out to conquer it, but courage can only take them so far. And the higher they climb, the darker it gets. And I like the idea of reading a bit of a ghost story. Actually, I can't say, I can't say I've ever read a ghost story. Just like a, yeah, like a proper kind of horror-y ghost story. So that is a part of my, um, part of my reading resolutions to read different genres this year and try some different things. So this really appealed to me. It's short, it's in snowy mountains and it's scary. So yay. <laughs> I'm sure that says more about me than I'd like. The next one, we are in familiar territory now. A thriller, but this had to be bought as soon as I saw it. The Lion Game, The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. Speaking is hard today. I love a thriller, you know me, crime at nine. Uh, this one says, the text message arrives in the small hours of the morning. I need you. Isa drops everything, takes her baby daughter and heads straight to Salton. She spent the most significant days of her life at boarding school on the marshes there, days which still cast their shadow over her. Isa and her three best friends used to play the lying game, competing to convince people of outrageous stories. Now, after 17 years of hiding the truth, something terrible has been found on the beach. The friend's darkest secret is about to come to light. I love a bit of crime, and I actually love a bit of Ruth Ware. I haven't read In a Dark Dark Wood yet, but I do own it on Kindle and I will be reading it. But I have read The Woman in Cabin 10. What Woman in Cabin 10? Sorry, I don't know why I'm speaking so fast tonight, it's not working. Um, and I, I, I devoured that really, really quickly and really enjoyed it. And this is her new one, so I just, I just went out and bought it. I think, I think I'm a fan. This must mean I'm a fan. The next one is... Now, I've talked about Patrick Ness on my channel before um, because I've still not read any Patrick Ness and this is the second of his books that I own. Um, this is The Knife of Never Letting Go and this is a 10 year anniversary edition. It's got this lovely black sprayed edge and I just, I when I saw they were releasing this, um, I've been fancying these books for a while and um, when I saw they were releasing this with this lovely sprayed edge, oh look at that. 
with this lovely um, sprayed edge and beautiful cover, I just thought actually this is the way I want to go. I want to read this for the first time in this edition. And this is, ooh, difficult to read in this lighting. Um, um, Prentice Town isn't like other towns. Everyone here can hear, everyone here, <laughs> Everyone can hear everyone else's thoughts in a constant, overwhelming noise. There is no privacy, there are no secrets. Then, just one month away from the birthday that will make Todd Hewitt a man, he unexpectedly stumbles up on a spot of complete silence, which is impossible, and now he's going to have to run. Oh, that just sounds great! It does say it's soon to be a major motion picture, so that means I have to read this quickly. Um, I, I, I do fancy this. I've been fancying this for a long time. And I want to get the other two as well, because they're on the back in, with the same sprayed edge. That'll look glorious in the bookshelf, and I'm really I'm looking forward to that. Um, and the last book that I've bought in um, physical form is Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh, completely inspired. Um, after I watched Simon's video on his channel, Savage Reads, um, with Pip, uh, and a chat with Claire McIntosh, the author. And I just, <laughs> I bought this immediately after watching that video, so that worked. Um, I'm looking forward to this. This says, what does this say? Um, the police say it was suicide. Anna says it was murder. murder. They are both wrong. One year ago, Caroline Johnson chose to end her life brutally, a shocking suicide planned to match that of her husband's just months before. Their daughter, Anna, has struggled to come to terms with the loss ever since. Now with a baby of her own, Anna misses her mother more than ever and starts to question her parents' death. But by digging up their past, she'll put her future in danger. Sometimes it's safer to let things lie. Hmm. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I will link Simon's video below um, because it's a really interesting chat with the author about how she writes her books and and um, how, yeah, it, this is twisty apparently and I love a good twist. And I've, I've bought some books on my Kindle. So let me just open my Kindle and go to my books and I'll tell you what I've bought recently. I don't know if I can be able to show you these, but I'll I'm gonna give it a go. I'm terrible for buying books on Kindle. If books are 99 pence on Kindle, I'm terrible, I just, I just, I just go nuts. If I can show you the cover, the first one I... Oh, it just opens, apparently. This was the first one. I've been very thrillery recently, but um, If I Die Before I Wake by Emily Koch? Coach? I don't know how to say that either. This is testing today. Um, if I Die Before I Wake, how do you solve your own murder? So that was I was intrigued by that. Um, I can't get now to the back cover, though, can I? So we're going to have to just... Look that one up. Now I'll find it for you. Everyone believes Alex is in a coma, unlikely to ever wake up. As his family debate withdrawing life support and his friends talk about how his girlfriend B needs to move on, he can only listen. But Alex soon begins to, sus to suspect that the accident that put him here wasn't really an accident. Even worse, the perpetrator is still out there and Alex not the only one in danger. As he goes over a series of clues from his past, Alex must use his remaining senses to solve the mystery of who tried to kill him and try to protect those he loves before they decide to let him go. A stunning edge of your seat debut novel with an unforgettable narrator. This just sounded really interesting to me. I love that idea. How can you solve your own murder from a coma? Oh, this, this must be really clever. I'm looking forward to that being really clever. Um, the next one, which is a recent, very, very recent purchase. Why does it always open on... Part one. I want to go to the cover, people. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is called The Other Twin. It's by L.V. Hay. And it is about... It doesn't say what it's about, guys. Okay, guys. I know what you're thinking. I'm wearing a different outfit. This is a different camera angle. And you're completely right. In fact, it's a completely different day. We are now on Easter Sunday. And I, um, I was trying to tell you about the Kindle books that I bought. Uh, in March for my book haul video, but I couldn't find any um, descriptions on the Kindle app for some reason. It wasn't taking me to descriptions, so I'm just going to tell you really, really briefly about the books that I um, uh, have bought. And um, I might flip back and forth between having a hoodie on and not having a hoodie on. This is not magic. This is just the power of um, video. The first one that I was telling you about was the other twin. This sounds really good, that's why I've gone back to tell you, but what, what this actually says. 
um, Amazon says about the other twin, uh, when India falls to her death from a bridge over a railway, her sister Poppy returns home to Brighton for the first time in years. Unconvinced by official explanations, Poppy begins her own investigation into India's death. But the deeper she digs, the closer she comes to uncovering deeply buried secrets. Could Matthew Temple, the boyfriend she abandoned, be involved? And what of his power and wealthy parents and his twin sister Anna? Enter the mysterious and ethereal Jenny, there's a lot of characters, the girl Poppy discovers after hacking into India's laptop. What is exactly... What exactly is she hiding? There's too many is is there, Amazon. Um, what is... What exactly is she hiding and what did India find out about her? Taking the reader on a breathless ride through the winding lanes of Brighton into vibrant party scene and inside the homes of its well-heeled families, the other twin is startling and up-to-the-minute thriller about the social media world where resentments and accusations are played out online, where identities are made and remade and where there is no such thing as truth. That sounds really good, right? The other twin. I love my Kindle, I do. This is a Kindle Fire 8 HD and I do love it and I do tend to watch quite a lot on it um, in terms of like Netflix and Amazon um, videos and things. Um, but it's great for shopping for books. Um, the other book that I did buy this month is another thriller. I think I'm in that zone. The Liar's Girl by Catherine Ryan Howard. And this, let's see if this one's got a um, what it's about situation. Um, her first love confesses to five murders, but the truth was so much worse. Dublin's notorious canal killer, Will Hurley, is ten years into his life sentence when the body of a young woman is fished out of the Grand Canal. Though detectives suspect they are dealing with a copycat, they turn to Will for help. He claims he has the information the police need, but will only give, in, give it to one person, the girl he was dating when he committed this horrific crime. Alison Smith has spent the last decade abroad, putting her shattered life in Ireland far behind her, but when she gets a request from Dublin imploring her to help prevent another senseless murder, she is pulled back to face the past and the man she's worked so hard to forget. This sounds really good too. It reminds me of The Fall. So I'm hoping it's going to be a bit like The Fall. And I'm going to love you and leave you now and let the other me from um, a couple of days ago carry on speaking. Wow, this is actually like time travel. I'm speaking to myself in the past from the future. It's all like wibbly wobbly and timey wimey. Okay, bye. So yes, that is my March uh, book haul, and um, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to reading a lot of these. Um, just finished reading a book this afternoon, so I'm going to move swiftly on to a thriller because I'm clearly in the zone for a bit of crime at nine, and I'm going to start with this. I think. I'm going to get into Let Me Lie because it's just been released. There's something quite nice about reading a book that's just been released and you're kind of in the thick of it because it's new and it's exciting for everybody. So yeah, I'm going to start with that one. So what have you guys been reading this reading this month? Um, have you bought any books? Please send me some uh, recommendations. I love a bit of crime. And uh, not that my TPR pile is going down very slowly, but we will get there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, the arm. Gosh, holding the arm up for that much time.